Later tonight, I'm gonna tell you I love you, and maybe by that time, you'll be drunk enough to believe me. What were you thinking of just then? Were you thinking of Skipper? Laws of silence don't work. Silence about a thing magnifies it. It grows and festers in silence. Becomes malignant. Get dressed, Brick. I've dropped my crutch. Lean on me. No, just give me my crutch. Lean on my shoulder. I don't want to lean on your shoulder, just give me my crutch. Thanks. How long does it have to go on like this? This punishment? Maggie, you are spoiling my liquor. Whenever you talk now, it sounds like you're running up the stairs to warn somebody that the house is on oh, fire. Oh, well, no wonder. You know what I feel like, Brick? I feel like all the time like, a, like I'm a, a cat on a hot tin roof. And jump off it. Cats can jump off roofs. Just do it. For God's sake, just do it. Do what? Take a lover. I can't, Brick. I can't see anybody but you. <laughs> Even with my eyes closed, I still see you. Why don't you get ugly, Brick? Why don't you get fat or ugly or something so I can stand it? There's nothing else for me to do. Oh, I know when I made my mistake. Yes, I know when I made my mistake. I made my mistake when I told you the truth about the thing with Skipper. Never should have told you a fatal error telling you the thing Maggie, about Skipper. Maggie, shut up about Skipper. You I mean, ought to know that Skipper and you I... You don't think I'm serious, Maggie? What you're doing is a dangerous thing. You're fooling with something nobody ought to fool with. Skipper and I made love. If love you could call it, because we did it to feel closer to you. We made love to each other to dream it was you. That's the truth. Well, I remember whenever we double dated in college. Gladys Fitzgerald and I and you and Skipper. It was more like a day between you and Skipper. Gladys and I just sort of tagged along as if it was necessary to chaperone you in order to make a good public impression. Maggie, do you want me to hit you with this crutch? Don't you know I could kill you with this crutch? Good Lord, man, do you think I'd care if you did? One man has one good true thing in his life. I had friendship with Skipper and you are naming that dirty. I'm not naming it dirty. I'm naming it clean. I'm naming it so damn clean that, that it killed poor Skipper. You two had something that had to be kept on ice. Yes, I married you, Maggie. Why else would Listen I marry to you me. if I was... You married me early that summer, after we graduated from Old Miss, yes? We were happy, weren't we? Blissful. Hit heaven every time we loved. But that fall, you and Skipper turned down wonderful job offers in order to keep on being football stars. You organized the Dixie Stars so you could be teammates forever. But something was not right about it. Skipper began hitting the bottle you got that spinal injury, couldn't play the Thanksgiving game in Chicago, had to watch it on a TV from a traction bed in Toledo. I joined Skipper. We drank together all night in the bar. And I said to him, Skipper, you stop loving my husband and tell him he's got to let you admit it to him. He slapped me hard on the mouth. Turned and ran. Later that night when I went to his room, he made that pitiful little attempt to prove that what I had said wasn't true. And in this way, I destroyed him. By telling him truth the world had told him could not be told. But Brick, Skipper is dead. I am alive. Maggie the cat is alive. <laughs>